Hey everybody, uh, my name is Ian Hoppy. I am the founder and CEO of Conduit, <clears throat> and I'm here to tell you about uh, the new SiteWalk feature uh, and show you how it rolls into the rest of the Conduit platform that you know and love so well. So uh, I've already got a new SiteWalk created, uh, but I'll show you how you would create one from the get-go. You go up here, you put your project name in, um, and then you also put your project name in, and then you can select your type of project here. So uh, we've added this new SiteWalk piece <clears throat> to the uh, installation process or the, uh, the uh, charger installation piece. Uh, and then it'll, that's gonna open up a new form. And I'll show you what that form looks like that's already been filled out. Um, so this is the uh, Conduit Site Walk right here. You can see here at the top, we've got a uh, project information. Um, it's got the site uh, location. You put in the uh, address of uh, the uh, location of the installation. Um, we've got a uh, customer information, so all the details about the customer name, the, the contact there, um, all that is editable and changeable. We've also got site information in there, like what is the site use. We'll say this is an apartment, apartment uh, complex. It's a surface lot. Let's say there's 45 uh, feet average from the electrical room to the charger site. <clears throat> We've also got charger use. And once you're finished with this section, you uh, tap on these check marks down in the bottom right, uh, and it lets you know that you've finished, you've completed everything you need in there. Uh, next, we've got a site photos piece. Uh, this allows you to take uh, pictures of the electrical room, the utility transformer, where the charger is going to go, and uh, the conduit run to the charger so you know where you're going to be trenching. These are all important photos that, that really need to be taken into account, uh, and conduit really lets you get those and make sure that they're all filled. Because uh, once that's done, you hit that check mark there on the bottom right as well. Uh, you can add EV chargers if you know what kind of uh, uh, chargers you're going to be putting in. Uh, but we know we're going to have a power source of some kind, which is right here. We have a utility connection um, by uh, the Alabama Power Company on the rear of the building. Three phase, four wire, uh, 277, 480 volt Y. Um, if we have multiple utilities, we can add that as well. Uh, finally, we've got panels and switchboards here. We've got one, two, three, four panels and a switchboard MS. Um, so all that information could go in there. You add as many as there are. Uh, you can also add other equipment if you have it. But at the end of this collection piece, and we intend this to be, you know, you can have sales folks go out and do this, um, or you can have uh, your uh, apprentices go out and do this, or just your standard journeyman or installer, or even the facility manager. We'd like you to be able to, you'd be, you'd be able to send them the site walk and then be able to collect all this information. At the bottom, uh, you can hit next steps, uh, and you can export this to a standard PDF, and I'll show you what that looks like out here here we go so here is a site walk um, this is a uh, standard PDF we make we can make this in just a handful of seconds it's got all the details about the site uh, and all that information uh, as well as the photos of the site um, and utility connections uh, and then also we've got uh, our panel PP1 uh, and all the details about it so this is just kind of a standardized set of documents um, that uh, will output uh, as a result of filling in everything in this um, this site walk.